Hey guys, it's Carnage6 back again with another review, and this time we've got a few more Predator figures. This is the Predator 2 wave of figures from NECA. And in this wave you get the Shaman Predator, the City Hunter Predator, and the Boar Predator. And here's just a shot of the back of the box. So why don't we open these up and have a look. Let's start off by talking about the City Hunter Predator first. Just look at the detail and the sculpting and everything. I mean, I love NECA's Predator figures, and this is no exception. I think they're actually getting better the longer they go on. Now, as with some of the other NECA Predator figures, he does feature the wrist blade, which, if you didn't already know, does come out if you pull it out, and you can retract it back in. But he also does feature a weapon from Predator 2, and that is this disc blade. Now, as you can see on the side here, it's supposed to be able to store like it did in the movie. Um, I've tried to get it in there, and you can tell that it's supposed to go, I'm putting it around, you can tell it's supposed to go in there somehow, but no matter what way I try, I mean, look, like, I can get it there, like, you know, to stay, but it won't actually stay in the holder, but you can tell that it's meant to go in there, so, I don't know, that's kind of disappointing that you can't actually store it on him, but that's alright, and it does fit in his hand, again, it's a little bit um, not precise how you're supposed to do it. So you can like kind of put it in like that, sort of, you know? It doesn't fit in all five of his fingers. At least I couldn't make it fit. Maybe you had better luck than me. And the other Predator weapon he comes with, which pretty much all Predator figures have, is this uh, shoulder cannon. Now this is pretty cool. The only problem is it's kind of mounted more towards his head, so the, 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 it kind of tends to want to run into his head, you know, when you try to move it. But the cool thing is it does go, you know, you can kind of store it. You can, you can spin it around like this, and you can kind of push it down or pull it forward. I mean, it actually works better this way, but I'm pretty sure that this is the side that's supposed to be the, the cannon part. So it kind of, because it's facing towards his head, it kind of runs into his head, and it doesn't look as cool. They should have put it on the other side of his shoulder if I'm making any sense and it would have been a little bit better but it's still cool. And next up, we have the Shaman Predator. Again, the detail, the paint, the look of the figure is just fantastic. Now this Predator figure is a little bit different from the other ones in that he does not have a shoulder cannon right there. Also, both of his fists are closed. That basically allows for him to hold his spear. But on the bright side, you can get some cool poses like this one. And finally, we have the Boar Predator, which is the only Predator in this series that has a mask. Again, he is missing the shoulder cannon, and he doesn't have the arm blade, just like the last figure.
As for accessories, this figure also comes with the disc blade. Now, again, I tried to fit it in the side, and it won't fit in there. Well, it'll fit, but it won't stay. But the cool thing is that his hand is actually sculpted to perfectly hold the disc blade, unlike the other figure. It actually goes, if I can get it to work, which now, of course, that I'm on camera, it doesn't want to work. But, trust me, all the fingers do go in there like that. Well, that's as good as I'm going to get it for this review, but as you can see, and trust me, they all do fit in the disc blade. So that's pretty cool. Alright, now we get to an area where I didn't really talk about much, and I do have a reason for this. It's kind of a little bit of a rant on uh, NECA and their quality control. I mean, I've said before that I have reservations about a lot of NECA stuff, and I've had things break and stuff. So, I'm very cautious with moving the joints here. I will show you what the joints are, but I did get the last wave of NECA figures, and I did not review them because of this one problem. And here's the uh, Elder Predator that I got in that wave. And as you can see, he's got no right arm. Here's the right arm. And guess what happened? First time I took him out of the package and just tried to bend this up a little bit, snapped right off. Now, um, I know this is not an isolated incident. I've seen two other YouTube reviews that had the exact same thing happen. They had to return the figure and get a new one because this exact same thing happened to him where the arm just snapped right off. So. You know, I love NECA's figures, but they really got to work on that kind of thing. Anyway, getting back to the video, I'm going to attempt to show you the articulation. I'm not going to stress it too much because, again, I don't want the figure to break, but I'll show you as much as I can. Anyway, the um, head, it does turn 360. Again, I'm not going to do it. It goes up and down a little bit because it is on a ball joint. The arms at the shoulder go in or out and in. And they're hindered, of course, by the um, armor here. This uh, elbow joint here, it does spin 360 degrees. Again, I'm not going to do it. And it bends forward and back just a little bit. Again, if you push this too much, you're probably going to snap this. So don't force this arm up too much. Now, the wrists are on a ball joint, so they go all over the place. The um, waist... I don't think it's on a ball joint this time. I think it just goes back and forth because I can't get mine to go forward and back. But for the look of the figure, it's okay. It looks it looks fine. Now for the top of the legs, we have the normal in and out motion. And this does, top of the leg does go back and forth again. Not going to push it. The knee does bend. And the feet are on ball joints. So they go all over the place. It's pretty standard for all of the Predator NECA figures, so I'm not going to show the other ones because pretty much all NECA Predator figures are the same. Alright guys, so that's it for this review. Again, as I've said before, I really love the NECA Predator figures. I buy them all the time, and even with the problems I've had, I keep coming back and I keep buying them. There's a lot of things they got to work on for this line to make it the absolute most amazing and best line ever and they've got a little ways to go one though that joint problem I'm always afraid to bend the joints too much because um, I've had like I said I've had it snap the joints snap off I had um, stuff like this like the brittle weapons I've had those snap in half I've had the wrist blades break and I'm not a person who plays with them I just display them but every once in a while one will topple off or fall over and something will break on it and that really pisses me off so that's something they gotta work on I also really hate the fact that they always release the same figures again just with a different mask they should make either a removable mask or they should give you multiple heads maybe multiple hands of course with this price 
point, they probably aren't going to do that. But it kind of sucks having to buy the same figure over again if you just want to get them with a mask. So I don't see why they can't do that. I mean, don't get me wrong. I know I'm bringing up a lot of bad points, but these figures are amazing. If you're a Predator fan, you have to have these figures. And if you're a Predator fan on a budget, these are really great because they can run anywhere from 10 to 20 bucks. Whereas if you buy the Hot Toys ones, you're spending two, three, five hundred dollars sometimes. So yeah, I really love these figures. It's just they have a couple of really annoying problems that keep continuing from wave to wave. And I hope that NECA listens and they fix these things. But all in all, these figures are great. I highly recommend them. Go out, buy them now. So that's all for this review and I'll see ya.